Hey guys, welcome back to our beta save here on Football Manager with Rangers. Today we've got our final Europa League game against Real San Sebastian, which, as we all know, is Real Sociedad. And then St. Johnson in the league. Just a quick note, just on the Real San Sebastian. Uh, I usually always play with the real name fixes and all the kits and face packs and stuff. Don't like doing it when it's the beta. I usually do it when the full game releases. So once the full game releases, you will be able to see all the new like badges, logos, real name fixes, face packs, like faces, everything. So just wanted to say that before we got too far in to this video because I forgot to mention it before. But enough waffling, let's get straight into today's episode. Since you were last with us, we played <coughs> Zurich, I believe. So we went on and played St Mirren, who, not going to lie, like played really, really well against us. They probably deserved to take at least a point away. But Leon King scored from a near post corner. We then went away to Zurich, where we managed to get a 3-0 victory. Which was a lot comf more comfortable than 3-0, it could have been about 7. Uh, we then beat Motherwell 3-2. This game was a wee bit more, like, it was a lot more comfortable than it looked. Like, we went 1-0 up, they scored in, at half time. we scored 5 minutes after half time, and then 6 minutes after that. But it was all us, uh, and then once again we let a let goal in. We then beat... Aberdeen in our game in hand 2-1, that was a tough game up in Pataudry, always is when you go there and Livingston we beat 3-1 at home this game was a struggle the first half, the amount of chances we missed in the first half, the final ball was just not there but we got the breakthrough through Kent and Kimar Roof actually came off the bench because Morelos got injured, he scored and then Sakala scored from the wing we then had a home game against Malmo, which pretty straightforward, 4-1, Scala getting a hat-trick. And then it was a lot more easier game this time against Aberdeen at Ibrox. Connor Goldson getting uh, two goals and then James Tavernier. And they get a goal in the 69th minute. And that leads us up to the next two games, which are away from home. One in Spain against Real Sociedad and then away to St. Johnson. So, with that, this is how the league table and the Europa League's shaping up. Uh, we already knew we had Aberdeen in the semi-final of that, so we'll have a look at the league table. We played 13, won 12, drew 1. Celtic have drew twice against the two Edinburgh teams, so they're now five points behind us, so we've got at least two games worth of points uh, in front and <coughs> Cholak who was top goal scorer at one point has now drifted off because obviously he's, he picked up an injury but I believe he's either back or close to coming back he might actually be back, I'm, I can't remember uh, and the Europa League we've qualified 1-5 five from 5 and we've qualified in first place even if we do get beat today, we're five points ahead of Real Sociedad. We've been scoring a ton of goals, so hopefully that can continue in today's game, although I'm expecting a really tough game today, uh, being away to Real Sociedad. So we are having a bit of an uh, injury crisis, because Roof, Cholak and Mary Loss were all injured at one point. Morelos is, like, near enough back, like, shouldn't really be playing, so I've got Sakala in there now, even though he's injured, but I don't have another striker, unless, in fact, you know what, I'm just going to take the hit, and put Jose in there, and put Tillman up front, I don't know if it's going to work, Goldston needs a rest, so we'll take him off for King, so this is going to be the team that takes on Real Sociedad, 
We've got McCrory in goals, Tavernier, King, Davis, Devine at, in defence, Jack, Lundstrom and Jose in the midfield, Matondo and Lawrence out in the wings and Tillman up front. This will be a big test for us because this is probably the hardest team that we've faced in the league, eh, in the Europa League, and I've just said that and we're 1-0 up inside three minutes. But I was going to continue on to say that I believe this is going to be like a tough game and this will show us like if we do have a decent enough chance to get into the latter stages of this competition. That was a decent free kick from Tavernier, but we just couldn't get on to the end of it. That was an awesome ball through to Matondo, and the goalkeeper saved that. I thought he had blazed it over the bar, but he saved it. Tavernier with the corner again. Near post, but gets cleared. Tillman didn't come to anything. Pardon me. <coughs> We also said I'd haven't had a shot. They now have had a shot. Everything I'm going to say something, the game contradicts me. Said it was going to be a tough one. We score. They've not got a shot on target. Do you have a shot on target? But uh, he was running very weird there. Did you see that? Ideally, I would like, but one nil up, I would like is to keep the clean sheet. I don't mind if it stays one nil. I think if we were able to keep a clean sheet, that would show that we are capable of going away from home against a decent side and keeping a clean sheet. Davis is pretty knackered as are most of the players I think I'm going to need to that brought up the uh, bar but yeah I think I'm going to need to jump into the transfer market in January and see if I can get another centre back I know we have one in Sands I think he's injured at the moment right enough but I just don't think he's like at the level that we need him to be Tavernier well well timed interception and Lawrence is in and that was unlucky. I would have rather them tried to put his laces through that rather than hit it with outside his boot. Tavernier with the corner, near post again, cleared Tillman gets it. I thought he might have passed it back out to Tavernier, but that highlight goes to nothing. Like let's go, can we get a break here? Lundstrom passes it to Matondo who plays through Tillman. Tillman's in, and that was a lovely finish, but it's offside. They just don't release the ball quick enough. That was a good goal, though. It was a good counter-attack. Uh, no. So, happy with the number of shots in target. I would rather have a lot more goals. Uh had seven shots, five of them have been on target. I would have liked maybe at least another goal. In fact, I've just realised that Tillman goal counted. Never mind. But like I said, they do release the ball quick enough. I've literally just noticed that we're 2 nothing up. That just shows you how much I actually pay attention to this game. <clears throat> well, that was a good pass through, and he should have finished that. That was a good pass and a good turn. I was expecting them to reduce the deficit there. Right, so, Lawrence... I'm going to take off for him. Jack can come off for Gagliardini. And Leon King is not having the best game. But I think I'm going to need to bring on... In fact, I can't because he needs a rest. Uh, I can't wait for this World Cup to come so all our players can get back to full fitness. 
because I doubt we're going to have anybody in the World Cup. I don't actually think we do have anybody in the World Cup, to be honest. Tillman, maybe? I don't think there's anybody else. Baris, it's with Croatia? I don't know. It depends. I don't know. I'm just going to need to see who comes back from the break full of fit. So we've got eight minutes to go and Sociedad are still pushing for this uh, goal that they're... Oh, that was a good save. I'd, I don't know what was going to happen there. I thought there was going to be a penalty and then pinball. But that was an awesome save from McCrory there. See, Tavernier's he's knackered, so they're getting in behind him far too quickly. There's only a couple of minutes left. Tavernier with the corner, near post, but gets cleared. Sociedad now on the break. And Leon King sweeps that up, but then fluffs his lines, and McCrory with another good save. <coughs> he has been outstanding this season for us. Tillman clears. Uh, good save. I'd probably have looked for him to catch that because it was right at him. So this kick should end it. Yep. So that was a pretty decent victory. It wasn't a, it wasn't a very exciting match. There was a lot of shots, not so much on target, but... We ran out to now victors, so we finished the group six from six and all 18 points. We're also going to sell Halander, and by the looks of it, we're, we're going to need to lose, a, or we're going to lose a lot of money on him because he wants to leave because apparently he doesn't feel like he can play for the club again. So I might see if I can try and offer him out. He's worth 1.9. Let's see if I can get at least 1.5 for him I'd be happy with. So we'll see what we can do with that. And we'll just jump ahead to the St. Johnson man <coughs> St. Johnson match now. I'll give you Lundstrom a break for Kamara. And I think I might bring off Lawrence like halfway through the match for Sakala or near the end. Because he's full training tomorrow, so he technically should be able to play. So, I'm also kind of wanting a decent performance from one of our strikers because our strikers aren't doing very much. Uh, but anyway, uh, before I go ahead too far ahead of me, this is the team we're sending out. McCrory and goals, Divine, Goldson, King, Gilmaz at the back, Gagliardini, Kamara, Jose in the midfield, Matondo and Lauren out in the wings, and Morelos up top. <sighs> I'm hoping that... We are going to get a decent performance out of Morelos today. Where our strikers haven't been like, banging in the goals the way I thought they might have been. Cholak did at the start, but he kind of just faded away and then he picked up his injury. But Tom Lawrence has just put his 1-0 up inside two minutes. We were pretty good. We're a pretty good team at scoring early on in games. Keep up. Corey picks that up. Out, well, picks that out of the air, not picks it up from the air. Big lump forward. Morelos just kicks, the kicks it forward, but he was the furthest man forward, so that wasn't going to anybody. Morelos now plays it through to Matondo. Matondo gets the ball anyway, but hits it wide. <sighs> The amount of goals we would score if we're wingers, like, we're... Maybe we should put our strikers out in the wings, because our wingers get more chances than what actual strikers does during the game. But anyway, Merrillos now gets dispossessed, and St. Johnson on the break, but King clears up. Passes it back to McCrory. That was nice and camp.
that's a good pass to Mo- for some strange reason I was going to call him Morientes but Morelos uh, Camara now but that was uh, that touch that he took was just too hard but <sighs> Morelos he had his chance if he kicked that a little harder I also like the orange strip. I like it when we wear this. This is a great young run from Yilmaz. Crosses it in. Lawrence is there. And Lawrence blasts that into the back of the net. Tenth of the season for Tom Lawrence. He, although he's not been one of my signings. He was here when we started. But he's probably going to be signing of the season for me. Unless... Cholak has an awesome end to the season and just starts banging in the goals. Lawrence now again crosses it into Morelos and Morelos taps it in for his fifth of the season. I've also just realised that signing of the season could also go to Gagliardini, the fact that we got him for under a million. So if he has a good season, then I don't know who'll actually win it. But Tom Lawrence been player of the match so far. Two goals, one assist. Lawrence with a corner now. Goldson's there, but I don't know if that was off the bar, off the post, or the goalkeeper. Lawrence again, crosses it in, but off sight. Unlucky. 3-0 at half time. And we're happy with that. Keep going. I'll give it to 60 minutes for usual time and then we'll bring on Sakala for Tom Lawrence as the assistant manager's asking me to do. Gilmas plays it forward to Morelos. Morelos is in. He should finish, but I don't know if that was a good save or if he just had it straight to the goalkeeper. But he should have finished that. Morelos dispossesses the player very well there. Matondo's in, but Matondo just hits it straight to the goalkeeper. Right, so Sakala time. So he comes off, eh, on for Lawrence. And Matondo is not having the best game, so I think Tillman might need to go out onto the left. I know he's needing a rest, but I just don't want players to get... Injured, so and Matondo is pretty tired now, so I don't want to chance that. And I think I'm going to put Charlie McCann in that Mazzella role, and I'll bring on Lundstrom for Kamara. Let's pump their fists and go make a difference, boys. Usually when I do like a lot of subs in one go, there's usually never any highlights after that, if any. And it looks like there's going to be another time that happens. We've had one corner after the subs, we've had another corner, and now St. Johnson are on the break. But Morelos wins it back. Yes, he does. Yilmaz now breaks away with the ball. Can he find the cross? He does, but there's no one there in the end of it. And now St. Johnson have a decent break on. He crosses in, but Goldson is there. And Gallagher... Sh- <laughs> what a strike that was. That will be goal of the season, definitely. But apart from that, St. Johnson done nothing to really bother us, and we ran out another, ran out another victory and all three points. So this is how the episode is ending. Still five points ahead of Celtic. We knew we finished top of the group in the Europa League. We'll just have a look now and see when we'll be back for the next episode. 
I think we'll jump ahead to round about here. We'll play the Premier Sports Cup semi-final. I don't know if we'll show the Celtic game, as I said before, because the Premiership, the Scottish Premiership, has only got 12 teams. You are going to see a lot of the teams constantly, and I, I just don't want this series to be a lot of old firms. But we'll leave this episode here. It's been another awesome episode for us. As you can see, we're on a long, major long unbeaten run. The last team to beat us was in the Europa League. We're still unbeaten in the league. Because after that dodgy start, I thought it might have been a tough season. And then we thumped Ross County and then Celtic. And then we've never looked back. So long may this continue. But next episode, we'll be back for the semi-final in the Premier Sports Cup. We'll also have a wee look and see who won the World Cup. And we'll see if any of our players actually played in it. But anyway, if you liked the video in any way, please leave a like. If you would like to see more Football Manager content on the channel, please subscribe, turn notifications on. And thank you very much for watching.